Hi guys, so as you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup at all right now and I'm sitting in a different spot in my room. So I'm just experimenting with filming in this spot right now because my room is going to be changing up soon. I'm going to try and rearrange everything this weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to it all, but that's besides the point. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my thoughts and reactions to the Pretty Little Liars episode that happened yesterday. It was the Pretty Little Liars Halloween episode and they did one last year which was a little bit different than this year. It was still themed around a Halloween party, but this year they were on the crazy train or the A train as the Twitter hashtag was on the TV show. So I'm just going to talk about my thoughts and opinions about the episode. And yes, there will be spoilers in this, so if you haven't watched the episode yet and you don't want it to be spoiled, I would suggest you click out of this video and go watch the episode on abcfamily.com because it was fantastic. Um, so first I'm going to talk about all the girls costumes. I freaking loved Arya's costume. I am a huge fan of the 1920s and her Daisy costume from The Great Gatsby was f awesome. I loved it. I love all the jewelry and the headband and everything. I just loved her costume. Her costume was by far my favorite. Everybody else's were pretty cool. Uh, Spencer's was different. I kind of got what they were doing with that. Like the, the I'm not going to say the words because they're bad words, but I liked her costume. Emily was pretty hot. I'll admit, her costume was pretty cool, the ringmaster and the circus theme was pretty neat. And then Hannah as Marilyn Monroe was a pretty classic one. I think she looked really well. And then also for other costumes, we had Hannah's mom, Ashley, who was dressed up as a nurse. And then the, the pastor, he was dressed up as like a crazy doctor. And Caleb was the fan of the opera, which I thought was kind of cool. And Jenna was a pirate. I'm not really sure what... Uh, what's his face was supposed to be, but Jenna's boyfriend. I can't think of his name right now. And then we have Jason who comes dressed in as like a Grease character. I'm not really sure what the deal with that costume was, but whatever, that's not important. So the big things that happened was, one, what Garrett told Spencer about the night that Allison was killed. He revealed that he had seen Allie talking to Byron, which, who was Arya's dad. And basically, it was that, and then Garrett wasn't the one who killed Allison. From what he told them, he faked it to make Jenna believe that he was the killer. So that's the big secret he's been hiding, and now he's dead. If you saw the episode, you would know he was killed. We don't know who killed him. I'm thinking that it was A, the, t the A team. I'm assuming that was the same people who kidnapped Arya as well, because they put him in a box, which was kind of weird. And the one thing that, that I noticed about that part, when Arya was in the like box thing she was stuck in, and she was trying to escape from it. Now she was she was duct taped at her hands and on her mouth. But the thing that point that I noticed, I was actually watching this with my boyfriend and he pointed this out, which was really funny because he thinks the show he just cracks up with the show, um, was the fact that I believe it was to her right when they showed her like when the thing was standing up, and to her right there was like a rusty nail hanging out. When the box fell over, we couldn't figure out how she managed to not fall on that nail or to stab her or anything. So that was pretty, um, we were like, how did that not happen? And then the other thing was when she stabbed somebody with a screwdriver. Where the screwdriver came from, no one seems to know. I've been following a lot of posts on Tumblr. Nobody seems to know where the screwdriver comes from, unless Garrett had it in his back pocket for some reason. Maybe that's where it came from. That's my best thought. And then when you hear them trying to push Arya off the train in the box, we people think that it's Jenna and Lucas. I'm not really sure. Lucas just kind of came out of nowhere in this episode. Like, he was gone for, like, most of season, the beginning of season three. He had a bit more stuff going on in season two because he tried, like, killing Hannah, but that really wasn't what happened. So he's acting all nice and stuff, so I'm not sure what his role is, if he's a part of the A-team, or he's, like, trying to help Jenna with something. I really have no idea what his role is. I'm really confused about that. I want the show to kind of reveal what he is actually, his role is right now, because I'm super confused about that. Now, um, the other creepy part was that little girl that was at... Hannah's house with Ashley, which is Hannah's mom. That little girl was creepier than creepy. <laughs> um, when she first got there, I was like, okay, she's a little girl, she's lost or something. And then she goes upstairs into Hannah's room, and then uh, Hannah's mom goes up there and talks to her, and she's saying how 
her and her twin sister would her sister would fight and stuff and then Ashley's mom touched her and she was stone cold. I think what the show was trying to do was that was to allude to the twin theory about Allie and Courtney. If you haven't read the book, you wouldn't understand that that Allie's twin sister lit the house on fire in the books and that whole thing. It's really complicated. Um, I don't even 100% fully understand it, so I would read the books. That's not really revealed until like book seven or eight anyways, I think, in the series. So it's pretty far along until they like reveal that Allie has a sister. It's not very obvious in the books and now the show is starting to lean towards that a little bit more, I think because of showing this girl, and if you didn't notice, she was the same girl who was in the first Halloween episode last season. It was the same actress. Uh, she just it looks a little bit different. So those were the main things that happened. I'm trying to think of anything else that I picked up on. Adam Lambert was, I think they chose him, uh, that was a great selection by the uh, producers of the show to pick him to be the musical artist in it. He really fit well. I liked his role and how he was like hitting on Arya. I thought that was pretty funny. And the other sketchy thing about the show, I'll talk about the ending in a minute. The sketchy thing was that Ezra couldn't go with Arya. And a lot of people have speculated, from what I can see on Tumblr specifically, that Ezra went to go be with his, like, wife woman that we, not like his wife, but his love interest that he had, his, her, that he actually has a son now that Arya found out, but Ezra doesn't know that she knows. So that whole thing hasn't been touched yet. I really hope season three goes that route as well. So people think that he was with them and he lied to Arya. And people also think that when she stabbed somebody with a screwdriver, she stabbed him, but he didn't have any band-aids on him. So I don't know what happened. I'm not really sure if that's what really happened or not, but it's a great theory out there. Now the ending. When they found the body bag in the drink tray, when Toby was fighting What's-His-Face there, and they knocked it over and the body bag fell out, um, I think that was put there intentionally, because at the beginning of the season they were trying to re-figure out what happened to Allison's body, and I found it quite interesting that it was placed there, and I think the A team wanted it to be there. Um, I just... I'm not really sure why. I, we don't know if Allison's body is actually in the body bag. It could just be a fake. No one, I don't know because they didn't really open it or anything. So that was very interesting. And then that, like the ending, I have no idea who that was. Somebody was buried alive and you can see them trying to get out. People have speculated that it was actually a flashback because Allison was buried alive as seen in previous seasons. They found out that she was buried alive and she had dirt in her lungs. So people might think it was a flashback to her being buried alive. At this point, I really don't know who it was. There's really no one I could think of that it would be. The only character that really wasn't in this episode at all was Melissa. Because all the other AT members, not the AT, the NAT club, we have Jason in the episode, we have Garrett in the episode. But Melissa isn't there, which is interesting. That's something I picked up on my own, that Melissa wasn't in the featured at all anywhere. Uh, we, Mona, the thing at the end with Mona was interesting. When she got back to the insane asylum, the nurse that, like, winks at her, I think that's going to play a greater role come this season because the previews for the, when the episodes start in January show Mona goes back to school. So I'm assuming that she had inside help to get out of the insane asylum because we saw that at the finale of the summer, like, season. We saw that Toby was helping her get in and out of the, um insane asylum so I'm not sure if that was just like oh she was just checking in on her to make sure that she was in bed because you saw Mona painting that thing and that's how she got out I don't know which costume Mona was I think she might have been the Queen of Hearts uh, Toby was very sketchy the whole episode trying to like not make Spencer talk to Garrett but then she found out anyways so this video has probably been all over the place but I'm trying to cover as much as I can so I think the thing, I really liked how they showed the fact that Garrett didn't kill Allison and that he made Jenna think that he did, but he really didn't. So that's what he had against her. But Jenna thinks that he killed him. So that kind of wraps up that storyline a little bit, but not really. So that, that was, um, that was, I really think, glad that they did that because now they're starting to get more into the direction of the girls finding out who killed Allison. I'm just curious to see what the TV show is going to go because everyone knows who killed her in the books. It was kind of random, but... 
it kind of made sense. So I'm curious to see where the show is going to go this season. I'm really excited for it to start back up in January. So if you guys have anything you wanted to add, please leave them in the comments below or you can tweet them to me or post them on my Tumblr and a question or something. And I'd love to hear your different theories and what you think was significant that was in this episode or things you noticed that I might not have picked up on. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little vlog style video. I'll try to do them more often and I will see you guys later. Bye.